Oh, that's not touch screen. Black. That's not touch screen. Take a second. We're live over here. Uh, I don't know if it is, but it's doing something. Good morning. Good morning. So, welcome. I don't know, is this the last Tuesday? No. Of the year? No? No, we've got one next week. Oh. Uh, in between Christmas and New Year. In between Christmas and New Year. Yep. Good morning, Linda. How are you? How are we doing this morning? We're this is getting a Christmas huddle. Short visit between meetings from Linda. That's okay. Um, we don't really know what we're talking about today anyway, other than connecting with you all and seeing how you're all doing, what um, you've got planned for your Christmases. Festive cheer. Festive cheer. Thanking you all for watching us and showing up with us. Um, I don't know. It's like, what episode are we on? Is it like 13 uh, or something? A few. So yeah. we've been live for, I can't remember. I think Three it's, months, I think it's episode 13. Three or four months. Crazy, 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 crazy. So let us know, let us be your coaches today. Anything you've got going on for you. Pop, good morning, Liana. Um, I was gonna message you later because I haven't responded. Thank you for your lovely gift. It was very much appreciated. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, good morning, John. So yeah, let us be your coaches today. Let us know what's going on in your world um you know how you're feeling about christmas do you celebrate christmas um where are we coming live from where are we coming live yeah, from yeah. <laughs> oh we're coming live from our new home office Woo! christmas present um indeed like yes. for us eh? like yeah. so that's really really exciting to have an actual space i don't know if any of you were with me when i wrote my book but i wrote that from a cupboard at the top of my stairs. Which is now a golf room. <laughs> with lots of Which golf balls. Which is now got the Stuart's golf room, yeah. But you know, I wrote it from a cupboard at the top of the stairs and typically that was where I would work before in this little cupboard. Mm -hmm. um, and during lockdown, I was working from a dining table and um, my son's bedroom and our conservatory, if you can call it Needs that. Needs must, needs must, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so this is really exciting. We've actually got Wi-Fi out here now, which is incredible. Um, so we can connect with you guys. Liana's wanting some wisdom around financial strain. We'd be appreciated. Okay. Mm. Will I start? Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. So this is something that I experienced and I was kind of having a laugh and joke about this with someone the other day when I did a little quiz like, it was two fact, like two facts and you had to guess which one was true about me. And one was I have done a skydive and the other one was that I've had a documentary on TV about me. Now, the correct answer was I've had a documentary on TV about me. And um, that particular documentary um, was about debt. And it was something that I experienced in my early 20s. 20s. Um, starting from your teens. Starting from my teens. I did mm -hmm. mention I liked to party last night and had a flat mm -hmm. and etc at the age of 18. But anyway, um, so it's something that I have learned a huge deal around and we've experienced a lot of as a couple with um, experiencing va various global clash crashes um, within business as well. You know, both being self-employed and Stuart running his own business and stuff. But what I would say is you can really break things down to the nitty gritty. There's so many things that we do or that we kind of, um, you know, I don't know, subscribe to or um, things that we do that we actually can waste money. So from that financial point of view, Liana, maybe it's just having a look at your bank account writing down for the past two months your regular outgoings and your regular incomings and then having a look at the difference between the two taking a look at the outgoings okay what is actually necessary what supports me and what am I just doing because it's habit so there was things mm -hmm. for us like sky tv okay colossal Ridiculous, ridiculous amount, amount of money yeah. we used to spend on Sky TV. Ridiculous. Anyway, we shifted that and we're probably saving 
Well, Around 60 quid a month? Well, at least, yeah. At, at least. least 60 quid a month by doing yeah. that. Um, 700 pound a year over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there's things like your electricity and stuff. So there's loads of great websites and things out there, you know, um, like, you know, just literally Google can be your best friend, you know, and you can look at different tariffs for your energy supplier, for your broadband, for your phones. And, um, you know, just working out what's actually necessary spend because the times where we've had to really cut back have actually been the times when we've come together stronger as a family. Yep. And we think differently. And I know that you um, have a child, Liana, and it can be really worrying around financial things, but actually all they want is your time. So, you know, we can think like, oh, we want to go and do all this for our kids and buy this and buy that. And actually all they want is our time. Um, and, you know, spending time doing some family stuff, some games, um, having a little games night or asking um, your son, like, OK, what do you want to do during these holidays? Let's write a list together. What movies can we watch? You know, there's so many things that we can do for free. Um, and so many ways we can cut back as well. So have a little think about um, ways that you can maybe cut back a little bit and ways that you can just <coughs> do stuff. And it's the same with food, you know, plan your meals. There's meal planner um, on my website that you can download for free. Um, planning your meals is a big one so that you don't waste food. Um, that can save a huge amount of money and it saves us a huge amount of money doing that. And it also saves a huge pressure in planning you know if it's all there for you you don't have to kind of over overthink things you can use that brain capacity to do other fun stuff batch cooking um all sorts of different things um liana say you're making me smile oh good mm -hmm. good 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 so um i don't know like is there I mean, anything you well, want to add to financial what this is if you were to give it a name really talk along the health line is this is a financial health check uh, yeah. that you actually undertake um, and like uh, the way you treat your body and the way you treat your mind and all that kind of stuff you actually take action and you actually seek out those who can help you to do that that helps the question Leanna however there are experts in the field of financial management mm -hmm. uh, that you can actually seek out yeah you know, I suppose it depends the, the, depends on the, uh, the uh, situation like severity of, of or like you know the yeah of course it is but it's like you've said before you know you, you know you wouldn't go to a rower to learn how to play tennis mm -hmm. type of thing uh, so you know you, you know there's always always that as well because we don't all know everything about everything uh, you might know a little bit about this a little bit about that but uh, but certainly what Susie's saying there is about you know for years and years and years I always used to have like 250 pound in my in my wallet uh, for <laughs> just because I wanted to have 250 pound in my wallet but I, it wasn't for any particular reason um, wow but it was <laughs> exactly <laughs> But only, was, only. But it was a case of, I mean, this, what, what's, I've been taught this last four or five years in particular is that, um, you know, just because you've got something, you don't have to spend it. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to spend it. And the other thing that Susie just saying there is that you get into habits, you get into routines, you get into... Um, you, you know, always doing this or always doing that. It's, it's maybe just a tight put yeah. the brakes on. Eating out was a big breaks one for on, us. Yeah, huge. Before or, or buying out, in. Cost us. Uh, you know, the difference between having an Indian that you can buy in from a, a supermarket mm. that will serve five of you for £12 versus 50 quid for three of you from a takeaway. <laughs> We're just saying huge. that from experience looking just on that, Monday, yeah. last Monday night. You have Leanna saying Starbucks fun, Susie. Yeah, so well, it's that's, having that's, 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 you know, that's absolutely spot on because um, Costa, for us, um, if you think about the habit of thinking Costa... And going once a day, maybe even something is squeezing in another one. Uh, before you know it, you're spending a tenner a day, mm -hmm. or eight quid a day, or seven pound a day. You know, we multiply that by five days, twenty-five pounds, a hundred pound a month. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like that, of small things that build up and all of a sudden overwhelm you. There's a book that. that's on my wish list actually that I haven't bought yet. It's called The Latte Factor, and it's actually a guy in America who was taught finances by his granny. And um, John on Instagram, Liana is saying, get an espresso machine. 
Um, so yeah, so there's a book called The Latte Factor and it's about exactly this, about the frivolous ways, like if we were to put that money aside and it's based on a true story about this granny, um, I don't know when it would have been in America, but typically women back in the day weren't responsible for financial stuff or, you know, generating an income. And um, this lady started giving her husband sandwiches and like pat lunch for his work. And her husband used to get, you know, slated at his work because all the boys would normally have like, they'd have a nice lunch and they would do this. But anyway, this woman managed to save a ridiculous amount of money without her husband really being aware of it because she was just pocketing and siphoning off all this money. And it was about kind of, you know, these little incremental things and having awareness of them. And this is what I learned from that documentary was I had no awareness of the debt I was in at that time. And it really was, you know, spend money here, go and Asda, buy my friends drinks, da, 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 all these things add up, add up, add up. Now, I could tell you to the pence, and it's a lot easier these days because you've got apps on your phone, what is in my bank account? Um, there's another app actually that our daughter Erin told me about that I used for a little bit and I can't for the life of me remember but I'll pop it in the comments after um, and what it does is it actually pulls your bank accounts together and it sorts out so it shows you where you've been spending your money wow. so it categorizes it into like restaurant, petrol, da 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 like all this stuff is so cool mm -hmm. so it's that's great good to get a little reflect but um if you are really really concerned or if it is something um more serious then there's obviously like other people that you can speak to and debt management companies and all sorts of different things that can support uh, you if, yeah, it, if yeah. it's thing but, but start right, with awareness things, yeah awareness small things things that you can actually take action on today not i'll do it tomorrow but today um mm -hmm. so you can actually see the difference uh, that uh, hopefully should maybe alleviate some of the pressure yeah uh, liana's saying she's up. had a walk nice excellent that didn't cost you very much, did it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So has anybody else yeah. got anything that they want us to help them with? You can pop it in the comments. As I say that today, we just wanted to kind of jump in with some support. How are you guys feeling? Um, I know it can be challenging if you're having to maybe pick, like, which family members you spend time with. Um, um, oops, sorry, she went for a walk with a friend last week and she had a no spend year on clothing. Yeah, it's so cool. And I don't know if you guys remember, well, those of you who are maybe like my Facebook friends or whatever, um, was that last year I put out a request for clothes? I did a yeah, similar did thing that, yeah. last yeah, year yeah. and I actually put a post on my Facebook page and said, like, I really don't want to be buying clothes. Plus, I want to try out some new styles. So if anybody's slinging their clothes to the recycle bin and they're a size 14, then could I please, um, could I please have them? And that's actually so much fun because I had things that I wouldn't normally mm -hmm. wear and um, got to try different styles. So there's things like that as well that can actually be quite fun. Clothes switching, you know, you can do a little zoom with your friends maybe clothes switching or um stuff like that cleaning out selling things we are the ki like king and queen of selling stuff aren't we totally. like yeah. <laughs> lot, lot if, yeah. if it's not nailed down and we're not using it it's going Watch on out. facebook marketplace if it's got wheels it goes even faster <laughs> yeah. It's done. It's done. so yeah it's a bit of a joke like Stuart yeah. and i'll have little challenges like okay we're gonna um let's raise 50 quid <laughs> yeah, yeah let's raise 50 quid what can we sell mm -hmm. and i'm yeah. laughing because yeah. my sister's just joined on instagram hey and um she'll also contest to that liana that um you know we're really good at selling things because we've also sold her furniture while she's been in australia <laughs> <laughs> we sold her sofa um so yeah there's always stuff that you can sell to make a little extra christmas money um you maybe don't need to sell the sofa that you're sitting on but yeah, yeah. Uh, Always away. Uh, uh, saying about that, uh, not too sure who you get to see or Christmas or visit and all that kind of stuff, is that, uh, that what can come from that is that sometimes when you, 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 you know what it's like when you're decision making, um, you know, when you decide something, you cut other stuff off. Mm. Uh, I think it's being fine with yourself to say, yeah, I'm going to spend time with Mary, but that means Jean's not going to get any of my time. Be happy with the fact that Jean's getting your time and not unhappy that the other one isn't. If you can find that way, uh, then it makes you kind of feel a little bit better 
uh, focusing on the, the good energy as opposed to the, uh, the not quite so good energy. I think it's maybe something to think about anyway. Yeah. So does anybody else have any questions? Emma, have you got any questions? So what we're doing today, just helping you guys at this time of year, anything we can help you with coaching wise, anything you're struggling with, any support that you might like, um, just jumping in to see how you're all doing, see what we can do, yep. any words of wisdom that we can offer, share, any directions we can point you in. Let us know in the comments. I can see that you're there. <laughs> or just say hello. Let us know what you've got planned. Like, what are you up to? Have you finished work? Um, Have you got people around? Are you going around? What yeah, are you doing? so I know, Emma, you're in Australia. And Tina, are you in Ireland? Or did we just meet through... Um, let me see. Emma saying, doing things that make you feel you have to do to make others happy. It's not 100% what you'd want to do in an uh, ideal spot world. Spot okay, on. yeah, but I think Emma's asking, oh, like, sorry. what do you do about that? Well, what do you do about that? So, Christmas time is often a time where we have to compromise our values sometimes, like where we want to, um, you know, there's certain things that we might want to do. And I know I was speaking to a friend yesterday who has just made the decision to stay at home with their family. Uh -huh not to go anywhere they just are staying at home pajamas nice food mm -hmm. playing with the kids mm -hmm. toys yep. watching movies stuff like that and i yep. think um you know that's a really powerful decision to make because you know they didn't want to be kind of i think also this is actually a time where we start to find out really our nearest and dearest and our closest because um effective communication i think is the key to this one uh, I think in that just kind of saying to people because we're not in an ideal world, mm -hmm. uh, therefore there were you know there's things that we have to do differently that are projected <laughs> upon us. So, just speaking to people and just saying, I'm laughing. Uh, you know, John saying um, at least we can avoid relatives this year. So yeah, for some people they've been given an excuse to kind of bail. Emma's Correct. in Australia, she's got no excuses. <laughs> um, Tina's in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, she's having Christmas on her own. Just. Um, her, John, and the girls. So, are you the same in Ireland, Tina? Do you go into phase four on Boxing Day or tier four, whatever they call it all, this corona stuff? Um, so, yeah, you know, it can be a challenging time. And for some, it has given you the ultimate excuse. Um, Margaret's saying, keep shining your light on us. It's so appreciated. Oh, and we've all got that little inner light to yes, share, share with the world. Um, so yeah, sorry, we're not really answering Emma's um, question particularly well. So I think it is either, you know, writing a list of all the fun stuff that you want to do and then making sure that you outweigh <laughs> the stuff that you maybe don't want to do that you feel obliged to. And you can say no, like you totally oh, yeah, can yeah, say yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in situations but it's being comfortable with that no so sometimes like you know like we have to, we don't ever have to do anything this is the thing we don't ever have to do anything but the question is will you feel more uncomfortable so john's mentioned relatives there and um, so i know for many people you know it can be an awkward time you know especially where alcohol is involved mm -hmm. at christmas and all sorts of different things yep. but um yeah you know being comfortable with what you're doing and how you're doing it i think is really really important and if you say no to something just not feeling guilty about it like you've made that decision so you have to kind of go with it and um, if you think that you're going to feel really really crap and like oh no i feel really really guilty and da, 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 then maybe just go and spend time with whoever it is for a short period of time you know if you can if you can if you can't. Um, but if you can't, then, yeah. But I think, you know, every, I think everybody, we're all in the same boat, so we've all got to kind of try and have some sort of empathy that we can't all do what we all want to do yeah. uh, at this sort of time of year. And I think this is what I'm saying about this is when we start to find out our nearest and dearest and those who really do love you will understand uh, that they may not get to see you or be around you at a certain sort of time and all that. And... Uh, you know, being okay with that, uh, that we will see you at some point, uh, you know, is the key thing. And the fact that we're actually all healthy enough and we're all around each other, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to see each other, uh, you know, is a is a, uh, a great bonus as well, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, Tina's saying that they're going to know today what's happening in Ireland. 
Um, and let's say thank you, you great advice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 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 anybody else got any questions that hopefully we can help you with? What are you all having to eat? Love food. Had two mince pies yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I went back for the second and I was like, ah, oh. uh, Emma saying she needs to go. Lots of love to everyone. Have a great Christmas. <laughs> love to Indeed. you. Really? I'll speak to you later. Have Message fun. later. Um, yeah, I went back for the second mince pie. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's really good. Yeah. I was grateful for it. Yeah, you should do with that. With the hot anyway, chocolate. Gluten-free mince pie. Margaret, I know you're a gluten-free lover. Um, so, yeah, these were co-op. Very good. Very good. Um, this Christmas will challenge our annual rituals. Yeah. Great mm. point. <clears throat> great point, John. So this is really cool. Um, we can begin to create new rituals. So we are. So normally we're at church on Christmas Eve. Um, and um, did we go on Christmas Day last year? No. Just Christmas Eve. Yeah. Did we go twice? Uh, do we not be down the ball and all then to church? <laughs> yeah. So normally we would like go to church and like all the family and, you know, sing carols and do all that. And yeah, our daughter's been saying to us, like, what are we going to do? Christmas Eve, like what we're doing. So we're having it different this year. We're gonna have some party food, Christmas jammies, and we might even let Stuart watch It's a Wonderful Life. I'm trying to convince the kids for it to happen. I've only asked everybody for three or four years. <laughs> uh, so and say, we'll yeah, watch next it. time, we'll watch next it. time, we'll next time. It. Um, Ron is, um, John's having a nut roast. Tina is having turkey and ham, lol. Yeah, but look. I have chocolate for breakfast every day the last, last week. week, yeah. Margaret's saying Marks and Spencer's gluten-free pies are good. Um, mince pies. Um, Liana, you haven't had a mince pie yet? Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, literally. It's like cream no. eggs, as soon as they appear, fatal yeah. for me. But this is really good that they're seasonal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that may they take your decision make away from you. Yeah. Makes it easier. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so we could create new rituals. So have a think about that. Like what new rituals and routines could you have? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. maybe could you have a Christmas Eve walk? Like hopefully it's a nice starry night. Or um, could you like spend some time journaling? Do your gratitudes yeah. like with friends or family? Like I start mean, a little mini Christmas yeah. Zoom or... Can you, um, can you volunteer anywhere? Can you help anybody else? Mm. Is there anybody else in need? Uh, somebody in your street maybe for that Yeah, matter? that's uh, lovely. You know, that, that, you know that's, a, that's a two way thing, isn't it? You know, it's uh, um, a beauty to receive from the person and it's a great you know, joy to give as well um, for you. So yeah, it might be something to think about. Cool. Um, I think that's, sorry, I got distracted by this yeah. message. I'll read it in two seconds. Um, but the, I'm doing next month in the membership's all about happiness. And um, we've been, I've been, or we've been, you haven't yet because I haven't released it. But um, I've been um, looking at the 10 keys of happiness. And I've also been listening to a book. I can't remember the guy's name, but he gets called Dr. Happy. Um, and I've been listening to him. And that was one of the things we were speaking about actually was like volunteering, giving your time and um, supporting other people. It's like one of the really, really big, a big one. Um, so yeah, thinking of ways you can do that. Um, Tina had family every other Christmas Eve, but this year it probably won't happen. We'd love to just watch a movie in my new PJs. Um, nice. yeah, Beverly morning. Good morning. Hey. Um, my four year old spends Christmas with his daddy this year. So I'm going to spend Christmas with my brother and mum. Love food. I've practically been living off Pringles, sweeties and little salted caramel hot chocolate most of this week. Cause I'm missing my boy so much. Oh. Can I share, jump in with you mm -hmm. one? Yeah, um, please that, do. Um, from the age of seven and four, uh, our oldest um, uh, started doing Christmas year about with uh, myself and Susie uh, eventually, uh, but year about, so year about they spend Christmas Day with us and Christmas Eve with their mother and vice versa. Uh, the thing that I learned in the early days is exactly like that, Beverly. I, I, I almost felt like I was in mourning because they weren't mm. there, I couldn't hear the noise. I mean, the, no the, the silence was deafening in the house. But what I come to uh, appreciate was, take advantage of it when you can, 
because you don't always get it. Mm -hmm. And it, yes, it would be absolutely great to have your kids with you all the time, and I absolutely get that. But just enjoy the, 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 the opportunity, the time when you've got a little bit of space, do something with it. You know, read that book that you've been wanting to read, or go and take that walk as soon as you think, or something like that. But yeah. just take advantage of it. Because it is easy to get kind of sucked in there. Uh, you know they're not there and you know, and all that kind of stuff. But they'll be having great fun wherever they are. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, important. Yeah, I don't know if like this might work for you, but this is what's like worked for us. Like that, um, like we changed the structure of the share, so like they would be like, like as you mentioned there. So like this year, for example, our older two are with us on Christmas Eve, so they'll wake up with us Christmas morning, and then they go to their mum in the afternoon. So we both get to see them on Christmas Day and yep. then next year, like, you know, their mum will have them on Christmas Eve into Christmas morning and then we have, have them, them yeah. like, for the rest yeah. of the day. So yeah. that's really nice because then it means that we that's all right. get to see the kids yeah. on Christmas Day. Um, mm -hmm. Beverly's saying, as much as I miss him, a break is quite nice as I'm a single parent. Yeah, yeah I read somewhere or listened to someone, Beverly, who was a single parent and it, it was like such a great idea. And what she did was she wrote a list of all the things that she couldn't do whilst her child was there. And it's a bit more challenging just now because obviously we wait to face a lockdown, but it was things like that she wanted to do, like go to the theatre or like go to certain places that aren't particularly child friendly or like Stuart mentioned there, like just having time to read a book or to do a course or to like, Write to write some write write a letter to somebody, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, you know, the art of letter writing it seems to have disappeared these days and all that kind of stuff. But the joy of it, um, uh, yeah, you know, is actually wonderful. And it lets you release sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. And, and like, so. so the yeah, like thinking of adult things. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Dressing up. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or just like lying in your bed, like having a long lie, like yeah. not having to get up and just yeah. like, yeah, I'm just going to lie here. Yeah. I don't have to think about yeah. feeding anyone else. Yeah. Just myself with my salted caramel hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And because when you're a parent, uh, you know, everything's busy, everything's active, especially at the young age where they're, they're not quite yet at school and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's busy, 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 active, active, mm. active. Almost sometimes it's a, uh, a sensory overload to some degree. <laughs> so when that stops, it's like a, a ban. And like, oh my God, what's happened? So you get sensory deprivation almost in some respects. But enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Just you know, absolutely enjoy that. Um, Margaret's sad because she's only got two gluten-free chocolates left in her advent calendar. Buy another one. <gasps> yeah, hopefully it'll be Get one for January. You know? <laughs> yeah. Advent, advent Friday, uh, February. Yeah, go for that. <laughs> Who says you can't pile them up? <laughs> Hopefully you get lots of anyway. chocolate, not long in our house. No, but if you, I mean, what I meant, <laughs> what, I meant, what I meant was a, a bit of chocolate, how long would it last? Not for you to eat it, but yeah. if, you know, just had it, how long would it go stale? I don't, I mean, well you've buy, got chocolates you that you've buy, had there for like about three you can years. You buy, buy 12 advents, so it's an advent a month for a year <laughs> and the build up to next Christmas. How's that for you? Hey Margaret? Yeah, beauty. <laughs> Go for it. Um, John's cheating himself to, with some Nordic socks. Oh, cozy. I oh. love cozy socks. I've actually got the, the most awesome already. pair of cozy socks on just now. Do that. Um, yeah. I um, did something really, like, basically this year, obviously, it's been a little bit challenging for us in some aspects. And when it came to Christmas shopping this time, my sister lives in Australia and my brother lives in Yorkshire. So we made an agreement that we would just buy our own family's presents from each other. So we didn't have to pay postage and stuff. Yep. But the beauty of that was I got to buy myself whatever I wanted. So And you got to buy me whatever I wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, John, yeah. nice socks. I got myself some lovely Neil's Yard oils from Liana. Um and um Neil's Yard perfume from Liana as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. like got yeah. proper spoiled from my Definitely. family this Christmas. Little do they know yet. Yeah. Do <laughs> I do. Um, Margaret, her son and her fiance are coming to her for Christmas lunch. She can't wait to spend more time with them on her own. So she's going to try and make it a happy day. Yes. Fabby. Get what? Get a board game, Margaret. Definitely. Get a board game. Definitely. Fun games. Marks and Spencer's actually had really cool um, little tins of games mm -hmm. um, that we bought that look quite fun um, to do that as well. So I we bought we bought them because I think we want to play them. Yeah, we exactly. So we bought them other people. <laughs> <laughs> we bought these. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nothing selfish in that at all. No. 
we bought games that we think yeah. look fun yeah. for our friends and family so when we're yeah. with them we can play them indeed 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 <laughs> um, cool Margaret's up for your advent calendar idea excellent <laughs> I'm with you on that I know where you live by the way I believe so ace great stuff so I think we shall leave you Stuart's indeed. getting to go and visit um, his brother Beth, Mitchie and the kids are getting to go today, yes, is that right? Yep, yep, no, they're allowed to come in. Because you're only soon. allowed so many visitors, and it, so far it's only just been allowed to you. Yep. So that'll be very exciting. Yep. Um, Ace. Anything else you want to say? No. Um, and just for those people who've asked, because loads of people have asked, go and hold up this. You see these little mugs a few people have messaged about? You can't oh, see sorry. it there. Oh, sorry, there. You go. And oh, I can't remember which one I had yesterday somebody commented on. They're from Tesco's. That's where they are. They're the awesome, aren't they're they? All, yeah, they're so... F- they're so nice to hold. They're, I, mean, I mean, a cup's a cup, but they are ergonomically <laughs> fabulous. They really are. They are. Very pleasing in the Good eye. Size. And shaped beautifully with a bevel bit to the bottom. No, we're not advertising for Tesco or anything. No. Dishwasher friendly. Christmas. Microwave friendly. Warmed and up it, some milk for a turmeric latte this morning in them. Very nice. Holds quite a decent volume of liquid in it as well so. <laughs> is this PVC fo- is no it? a few folk have actually uh-huh. asked like the mug yeah. I had yesterday like where did you get this, that uh-huh. yeah there you so, go so um yeah Tesco's I'll go Tesco. grab some I'll Tesco um, yeah mm-hmm. okay are we good are we good so thank you so much um I was gonna yep. say for this year but it's church reminded me this isn't our last one of the year it's just the last so one before it's Christmas. It's a very Merry Christmas <laughs> from the McWilliams. Yeah, having an incredible, incredible Christmas. Yeah. I finish work tomorrow, I think, at half three, four, maybe five. And then and, that's me off for a bit. Yeah, and, um, you know, whatever it is you're doing, whatever challenges we're facing, if there's any way we can create some memories uh, mm. that can give a really nice anchor to this time of year, um, you know, for your own self, uh, then please try and do that um, uh, you know because it's a wonderful time of year so they say the best time of year apart from the song yeah? I thought you were to sing uh, what do you want me to sing? Go on then. no <laughs> I, I don't want to break the machines um, so have a, fab- a great time uh, fabulous Christmas and I uh, hope uh, Santa's good to everybody yeah have a beautiful Christmas John thank you thank you to everybody who's watching and um, we'll be back next week see how your christmas mm-hmm. is gone um you know let us let us know how it's gone um margaret you better go and get the advents before it's too late <laughs> stock up we'll find out stock up stock up and mm-hmm. um, merry christmas to you beverly um margaret liana um everybody else that's joined us live tina have an incredible time hope everything's okay in ireland Um, And yeah, we'll be back. See you next week. See you next week. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.